Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about my name tag. If you only know me from my videos, you may not have seen my name tag. Uh, that's because I usually put it on when I leave my home. Uh, so when I'm going through my daily life, I tend to wear a name tag in public. And I want to tell the story of how I started doing this, and I want to talk a little bit about how people react to it, and what I think that says about some sort of deeper qualities. So how I started wearing name tag. When I went away to college, I wanted to sort of get a fresh start on life. I had grown up around a lot of people who had known me for years, and they had a sense of who I was. And I felt to some degree constrained by other people's expectations of me. So when I went away to college, I was thinking about how I could send a message to other people that would communicate who I really was, and specifically, that I communicate that I was open to really connecting with people. And so I came up with the idea of wearing a name tag. I thought, well, it's just this little thing, but it'll communicate to other people that I'm open to talking to just about anybody. So I made this name tag, and what do you know, but Oberlin in college made name tags for everyone during freshman orientation. And just about everyone was wearing them initially. But after a few days, people mostly stopped wearing their name tags. And I thought, well, I went through all this trouble of making a special name tag, so I might as well wear it a little bit longer than everyone else. So I kept wearing my name tag. And by the end of about the second week, I was starting to get a lot of positive feedback on the fact that I was still wearing a name tag. People were like, wow, I love that you're still doing this. And people were saying things like, it makes you seem friendly and accessible. Uh, and people were saying, it takes the pressure off of remembering your name. Like, if I've forgotten your name, I'm not worried about, oh, like, is he going to think badly of me if I forget his name and ask him for the third or fourth time? Things like that. And that's exactly what I wanted the name tag to communicate. So I thought, this is great. It's doing what I want. It's communicating what I want. Uh, so why don't I keep wearing it? And I wore it the whole time at Oberlin College. It was funny because uh, by the end of my time there, I learned that the admissions tour guides were even mentioning me during the tour. Uh, so I was a bit of a campus figure. I found it a little bit flattering, a little bit weird at the same time. Um, anyway, um, when I graduated college though, I stopped wearing the name tag. And I think I did this mainly out of this vague social pressure of like, wanting to be normal or something. I don't necessarily think that this was a good or healthy decision. Um, Years later, not right out of college, but quite a few years later, I moved to Philadelphia. Philly is the biggest city I've ever lived in, and I felt a little bit of culture shock when I moved there. Uh, it seemed pretty closed off, the sort of general social atmosphere on the street and in other public places. Like, people tended to not talk to each other very much, often not even make eye contact. And I actually found this very hard emotionally. Like, I don't like that kind of environment. I like to be very open to people, and I like to have these little pleasantries, these little human connections as I go through my day. And I found it hard emotionally. And I thought, what can I do to create like a little micro-environment around myself that is more like what I want? And how can I do this without imposing on other people? Is there any way I can like invite people to interact with me without sort of like breaking their bubble without their consent? And I thought of the name tag, and so I busted it out. I had still kept all my name tags, and I started wearing it again. And it turned out to be quite effective at achieving what I wanted. Uh, I noticed that people would start talking to me more on the street, in public and at other events. Like, it became like a little bit of a conversation starter. And to my surprise, it didn't invite any more uncomfortable interactions than I had been having previously. Like, on the street in Philly, I often do have a lot of uncomfortable interactions with people, like aggressive panhandling, uh, things like that. And I didn't necessarily get any more of that when I started wearing the name tag. It was more just everyday people talking to me in ways that I felt comfortable with. So that was great. I've also had a lot of people 
continue to tell me positive things about how they think it's great that I wear a name tag, and how they think that it communicates what I'm trying to communicate, which is that I'm open to people. A few times, though, I've had people express negative things about their reaction to my name tag. Uh, and I suspect that there are probably a lot more people who have reacted negatively and just haven't shared it with me, because I think most of the time if someone reacts negatively and there's someone that I don't know, they're not going to share that with me, and I probably am not going to see how they reacted. Like, I just, all I see is the person sort of close off or distance themselves from me, and I don't necessarily know why. But I've had a few people say that they thought that the na name tag was weird in a bad way. And I want to talk about that and engage with that. So I have these two different responses. On the one hand, there's like the positive response, and on the other hand, there's this negative response. When I've talked to people about their negative response, uh, which is mostly people that I know who expressed that they felt that way initially and then got over it, when I've talked to those people, it really hasn't come down to anything more than just this idea that it's weird and that it breaks some sort of social norms. And I want to ask the question, is it good to sort of drive your choices or decision making on the basis of those sorts of reactions? And I think that the answer is no. Uh, and I want to explain, first of all, I think that there are a lot of things that people can do that break social norms that are genuinely bad. Uh, they're genuinely harmful to other people. Like a good example, I talked about this in a recent video, talking on and on at length without people's consent, like talking at people. That's something that I see pretty frequently in our society, and I really don't like it, and I think that that's something that is genuinely damaging. Uh, something like wearing a name tag doesn't really impose on people in the same way. So I think it's a little bit weird to react so negatively to something like a name tag that doesn't impose on others when there are all these other behaviors that actually do. Another reason, though, that I don't like this idea that the name tag is, is sort of weird in a bad way is that that same idea can be used to justify all sorts of other negative reactions to things. So a good example is uh, homophobia or other like anti-gay, anti-homosexual sentiment. Um, if you are in a heteronormative culture, like a culture that defines heterosexuality as normal, I think it's pretty easy for people to see homosexuality, whether it's like two men or two women getting together or displaying a affection publicly or anything like that, and react to it as like, oh, that's weird and that's bad. And I definitely encountered a lot of that growing up. I think the culture that I grew up in was fairly heteronormative, and I think that's really damaging. I think those are an example of another way in which people can be viewed negatively because they're labeled as weird. This is something that I've always been pretty sensitive to, because there are a lot of ways in which I am pretty weird, and I think a lot of them are ways that are actually they're positive things. They're things that are really positive in my life, positive parts of my identity. Uh, so when I think about all these things, I think uh, if someone reacts negatively to me wearing a name tag, maybe that's good. Maybe uh, it'll give them an opportunity to challenge that, as many of my friends have done. Like a lot of people that I know said that they initially did have like a slightly negative reaction to this, but then as they got to know me, they realized that I had a positive reason for wearing it, and that it reflected my personality in a deep and positive way. So I hope that this story can illuminate a little bit more about who I am, and I hope that it can also inspire you to start thinking about how and why you're making decisions, and to, you know, take that whole like weird reaction with a grain of salt. I don't think that, that it's good to let people push you into decisions you don't want to make because something is labeled as weird. Uh, I say go with what you want, go with what you feel like resonates with you on a deep level. I think that that will help you make better decisions. Uh, I'd love to hear from you if you have anything to say, anything to add, or reactions to this, please share. Uh, and I hope to make more videos soon. Thank you.